Hi everybody, this is Mariam in Rotterdam and I will give you some tips that I've learned over the two years that I've lived in the Netherlands. So these are the tips that I've learned over time and I think when I've learned them I felt like, well this is too late, I wish I knew this before. So I'm doing this for you so that if you have near here or even I don't know you might not know some of these stuff so I hope this will be useful for you first get by and rather <laughs> well I'll ask Google Translate to say it for me by rather by and rather I don't know well the thing is this is basically rain radar for in Dutch and what this does is very accurately predict when it will rain like what which hour um and this is pretty accurate so you can look at for example two hour um timeline for the rain and you'll know if for example it might not be raining right now but if you want to go outside uh, yeah you need to be prepared if it is going to rain um so you can do that and also you can check this app or like the, just the website i'll link it below and you can do your planning according to the rain so if it's going to rain in the morning but it's not going to rain in the afternoon then for example if you're going to go out for a run well you can do that uh, in the afternoon or it is very even though like lots of people are working at home right now if you need to go to the office or to the university or something like that um and the class starts at nine but the this rain rather radar is showing you that there will be rain you can leave home earlier so that you don't get caught in the rain so that's the thing so that's the first thing and the second thing is don't try to rainproof yourself that's just a waste of money what i mean by waterproofing is you get waterproof pants you get a waterproof jacket well i've tried this it doesn't work you somehow get soaked even though everything on you is rainproof that is also must might be because of your own sweat because it gets really hot in there if it is if you are cycling and you have this on all on rainproof which is basically plastic thing on you so what i recommend instead is first you can either take the bus or train if it's not draining too heavily you might still try to cycle but always but always brings a second set of clothes with you from everything from t-shirt to socks and shoes and the third option is this if you have the option of not having to go to the office once or twice a week and you can work from home then you can save up those home work days for the rainy days so you having to go to the office and having to go through all the committing you can stay at home and you know um, work from your home third one follow the news on NOS NL so the thing is this is basically the BBC of the Netherlands I think so it is pretty impartial and not so political and it gives like the news quite fast um so the thing is in in my first couple of years i was actually before the pandemic i was actually using nl news or dutch news uh for the news but the thing is somebody dutch person recommended that i actually use this um website and the thing is this is so much better because you get way more detailed um, news and news are fast especially during the pandemic uh, you need to know about the new regulations as soon as possible so i recommend this of course you ha you'll have to use um, google translate for this so to translate the website but i think that works pretty well so and well in addition to that actually the news and like the pandemic you want to know like since probably you're an expat in the Netherlands as well since you are watching this video I would suggest you follow Twitter accounts of airlines and Dutch MFA so the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because 
this is actually even faster than news you can just set the notification on for just these two couple of um people like people um the thing is i am recommending this is because i actually i am not very active on twitter but the thing is apparently news are way faster on twitter so you get notified if like there are some changes in the entry requirements to the netherlands etc so follow airlines and follow dutch mfa and set the notifications on fourth recommendation is either get a second hand bike or get a subscription if you are staying less than two years in the netherlands so the thing is what i've did is i invested in a uh, like lowest price new bicycle which was about 200 euros and the thing is I, what i did not take into account is that it takes some work to maintain a bike and i don't want to do that so if you're a person like that and you don't want to spend more money and more time on a bike you bought um then you might want to get an older bike so that the additional fees like to maintain the bike for example if you get a flat tire or you need to, to get that like cleaned and oiled then getting a second hand bike is more sensible and also what you can do is get a uh, long-term rental bike and you you pay a reasonable amount per month 10 15 euros and the thing is everything all sorts of maintenance is done for free so you don't have to you don't have that headache of well i have to clean my bike and i have to oil it etc i don't i don't like that so the fifth tip that i would like to give is either carry cash or dutch bank card um, the credit cards are not as widely accepted in the netherlands which i found very surprising for like a western and european country but the thing is there are quite a few places that don't accept credit cards and for example there has been cases where i saw some like expats sitting in and eating like ordering all, all sorts of stuff and to learn that you know the place doesn't accept credit cards so make sure that you either carry cash or pin card which is the, but you need to have a dutch bank account to have a dutch bank card basically and the next one is that get a 40 percent discount at ns so you can just google it i'll also link this down below um this is basically a season ticket so you get this for one year and if you travel off the peak hours you get 40 percent discount um i think i've got this a bit too late because i was curious whether it was worth it but if you travel a couple of times using ic trains which are these fast trains um in the netherlands then you'll probably break even at like three or four rides so you'll probably save some money getting this uh, discount and the last tip that i would like to give is that try to avoid registration fees at the rental agencies or try when trying to rent apartment the thing is first there are many other options that don't require registration fees and what i've experienced is that most high quality most high quality rental agencies don't require don't require a registration fee those that require a registration fee are kind of like kind of want the money and not do not care so much about the service actually well this is what i realized uh, well i've experienced like three of them basically and all three of them was kind of bad at customer service try to avoid this there are lots of options that don't require registration fee and the other thing is that even if you've paid this registration fee there's no guarantee that you will be able to get that apartment that you like and probably there will be a lot of other applicants so you will have a low chance of getting that apartment anyway so instead just skip this and try to find somewhere where you don't have to pay a registration fee in addition to that actually you can, you also should 
I, I, I saw this very rarely, but some rental agencies require you to pay a contract fee, which is a couple of hundred euros and no need. There are lots of rental agencies with lots of, lots of nice apartments that don't require this uh, fee. What I've experienced is that most nice and quality rental agencies just require you to pay the deposit if you are able to get the apartment plus the first month's rent. That is the regular basically. Thanks for watching and if you liked it please leave a like. You can also subscribe. Uh, I'm planning to post more videos like this and maybe slightly different content as well. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.